This short video provides you with a quick overview of important and commonly used features in Falcon Online. Let's get started. There are multiple ways to access Falcon Online and your course shell. You will need to log in to gain access to the class. On the college's homepage, you will find a direct link to Falcon Online. You can also use links for your My Daytona State account, where you will also find a link for Falcon Online. Lastly, you can use the URL address of class.daytonastate.edu to get there directly on your browser. Chrome is the recommended browser to enable all of the features and tools in Falcon Online. After logging into Falcon Online and selecting a class from the tiles from My Courses, you get to the course shell. Each class and instructor may have a unique home page, so make sure to know what is available to you and where. In this example of a course shell homepage, you see the navigation bar that stays the same regardless of what page you go to, announcements, instructor information, and quick access to the IT Help Desk contact information in case you encounter technical issues. You will see a pop-out for access to an Academic Support Center representative should you need assistance from them at any time. At the top of the page, you find course information including the very important section number. In this example, it is 51ZP. This number code identifies which section you are in. Since your instructor may teach many sections of the same class, you need to know that information or at least where to find it. You may be asked to identify which class you are in. Content is where you will find your online course materials. This information is supplemental to the on-campus class lecture session. The table of contents is in the left menu pane and it lists modules you have access to. It is set up like a book with a table of contents and chapters, but in our case, chapters are module topics. When you click on a particular module topic, it opens. You will see the name of the module in the left menu and at the top of the screen. The files, websites, and videos that you need to watch for that topic are now listed below. Using week three as an example, if the subtopic of this week's online content is selected, it reveals the subtopic of Chapter 1. You will need to click on the Chapter 1 subtopic from the left menu to open it and access the files within. Each instructor puts their unique touch to the content area. Your instructor may have different titles for their modules, such as Week 1 or Chapter 1. Some may not have subtopics. Make sure to get a feel for how your instructor has the content area laid out. Once you have selected the subtopic and opened it, you will see the files, videos, and pages that are contained for your review. Again, you will know which module you are in via the left menu and at the top of the page. When you are in your course shell and you have a question, use Classlist to contact your instructor. You can use this tool to email both your instructor or classmates in your course. Choose Classlist from the navigation bar. Choose the box in front of the person's name and choose email. Because you don't have to type in the address, you avoid making a typo, which could prevent your instructor or classmate from receiving your email. It also auto-stamps the course and section number in the subject line, making it much easier for your instructor to identify which class you're in. You speed up your response time by using Classlist because your instructor doesn't have to search through five to seven class rosters to figure out which class you are in to research your question. You should always include your section number on any emails to your instructor, whether you use Falcon Mail or Classlist. The Help menu gives you easy access to commonly used DSE resources. The Falcon Online Info Guide has one to two minute tutorial videos related to using class tools like discussions, quizzes, assignment folders, and more. You can use them to learn or troubleshoot. There are also direct links to other student support departments. Explore those sites to learn more about virtual services that are available, such as tutoring, writing, and research help. Remember, you can always come back and re-watch this and any other videos in content as refreshers throughout the semester if needed.